Hello there. It's day 12 of your Spring in Your Step Challenge. My name's Amanda and I'm from Walks Leicester East and I'm here to introduce you to your latest exercise. So we've looked at all sorts of different access, uh, um, aspects of your flexibility and strength and today we're going to look at your balance. Today's exercise, and we'd like you to try and do it for one minute, is to stand on one leg. Now, I've failed already, you see, so there's various options that we can have for trying to improve our balance. And uh, we don't expect people to be able to stand on one leg straight away if they haven't been practicing this, but it's a very, very good thing to try and do. So there is the traditional stand on one leg where you may just lift one foot off the floor. You might need to hold on to something like a table or a chair back or a tree just to give you that extra balance but you may find that you're able to do it without holding on. Holding your arms out helps, it gives you that little bit of extra stability. When we're doing this we want to have our hips square to the front, we don't want to stick a hip out, we need to make sure that our pelvis is balanced, our knee that we are standing on is softened, it's not locked out and that we are doing our best to stand as still and stable as possible. But you will see my ankle is wobbling. So there's a number of alternatives that you might wish to try if standing straight up onto one leg is not for you. One of them would just be to put the very gentlest of weight through your toe of the leg that you're lifting. Just give yourself a little bit more stability. So I've got the tip of my toe on the floor. As you increase your capability, it may be that you can convert into the tree pose, the, the beginning of the tree pose of the yoga, and just start again with the tip of your toe on, your floor, on the floor, but with your hip turned out and your knee to the side. And just bit balancing, building the strength on one side. And gradually, you may bring the leg up. But what's really important is that we don't just stand on one leg for a minute. We have to do it for both sides. So you have a choice. You can do 30 seconds on one side and 30 seconds on the other, or just do as long as you possibly can and keep going and trying to increase the amount of time you spend on each leg each day. Anything is good for you. It's an improvement. So as I say, we can have the toe on the floor. We can lift fully up. We could go for a tree pose with the foot at the ankle or the knee. My leg doesn't go above the knee, but what's important is that you don't put your foot against your knee because that will stretch the ligaments. And finally, if standing on one leg is not something you can actually commit to doing at the moment, let's aim for that. We're looking for an alternative that helps us build our balance, trains our ears and the brain to give us some proprioception and build the balance. And one option would be, instead of actually standing on one leg, is to stand as if you're on a tightrope with one foot in front of the other and try and do that. And you will find that if you swap over, you've got one side which is stronger than another and you may find one side is a little bit more wobbly. And if that's all you can do, whoo, then that's a good start. I hope you've enjoyed today's exercise and we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye bye.